Peter Jackson gets up in the morning, 5 a.m., and draws before going to work at the construction site. Inspired by his art teacher, who introduced Peter to the diversity of line and texture in drawing, and from drawing from your own imagination. I was really inspired by my art teacher, Dave Carlin. He was quite the character. He's a wonderful fellow. Uh, real free spirit, real free soul. A, a man of the 60s, you could say. <laughs> He's a very, very cool cat. But uh, he never, even in his teaching, he never tried to say there was a formula. Like there are certain things in order to sit down and get something, this is what you must do, which is understandable. But he was never, a, for want of a better expression, a ball buster. As a kid, Peter loved to carve and draw. He would pick up a rock and see all kinds of forms of light, texture and shapes. This excited him to sketch and draw. Yeah, ever since I was a little kid, not I, 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 carved, I've drawn. I'm, I'm one of those guys that picks up a rock and looks at it and goes, okay, fine, let's see what we can find in it. And hopefully there's something, and there usually is. Peter's passion and relaxation is drawing from its own imagination. He's free to draw whatever he likes. He has books and books of drawings, of ideas, thoughts, and whimsical illustrations. It's an animated surrealistic impressionism. Okay. <laughs> it's a whole bunch of stuff. Right. But it's true. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a drawing, uh, it, it, it's, it's animated, it's surrealistic because I don't know anywhere in the world where this cuff comes from. And it's impressionistic in the sense that what kind of an impression does it leave upon? I mean, I mean, I look at it sometimes myself and it leaves specific impressions. Nothing to draw? Let your imagination loose. I think the greatest critics I'll ever have in the world are little kids. <laughs> Stop some dead in their tracks. Oh, really? that, oh, absolutely. What are you doing? And they look at it and they just get these big, big eyes and they pick things out and this is this and this is that. And isn't that wonderful? I had a young fellow who used to come in regularly with his mother. And he would have been, what, five, six, something like that? And he would critique my work for me. Yeah. He's a young artist, so yeah. yeah. He would sit there and he'd tell me what he liked and what he didn't like and what he thought was fantastic. And I thought to myself, like, this is so cool. <laughs> I hold on to the pen and go for the ride. In the Comox Valley, I am Kate Brown. <laughs>